Welcome back to the series of Introduction to Flash. What we're starting here with is their actual Flash environment. When it opens up, you'll notice that we've actually got a choice to create new documents. In the left-hand side, if you've been creating projects, you actually get a list of the projects you've recently created. In here, we've actually got the Flash Action Script 3, Action Script 2, etc. Down to the mobile for Flash for mobile devices. We're going to be working with Action Script 3. At the moment, it doesn't vary in the interface, but what the Action Script 3 refers to is the programming language behind it. So we're going to be creating all our documents in Action Script 3. And as we go into later series, you'll also get to code in Action Script 3. So when we open up a document, you notice that this is our new interface. And as you can see, it's laid out in a sort of logical manner. On the left hand side, we have all our drawing tools and all our tools that we need to move around and create objects. On the top, we've actually got our menu bar. In here, we've got file, edit, view, etc. We've got our timeline control here with our playhead. We've got some tools down the bottom to control our layers for adding a layer, deleting a layer. We've got our frames per second. We can change the rate at which the playhead moves across. We've also got what are called our onion skinning tools here. On the right hand side, down the bottom here, we've got our different um, workspaces we can look at. Also our zooming. Then we can move into our color swatches palettes. And also down the bottom, we've actually got our library. One of the other important palettes that you'll get used to is actually our properties palette down the bottom here. This is very important because every tool has different properties. So if I select the text tool and draw a box on stage, you'll notice that the tools down here have changed to show us all the properties we can apply to that. So once again, there's different objects and different properties. So you'll hear me referring to the properties palette. Now, when we want to change our actual document, I'll just push escape to remove the text box. If we go to modify, we can actually go to document. This refers to our stage. There are two parts. We have what's called on stage, which is in the white area here, which is the visible part of their stage. So when it's compiled as what's called a SWF file, a Swift file, this is the area which is white that we'll actually see. Everything that's in the grey area will be known as off stage and you won't actually see that in a compiled, completed project. So if we click our document, we can actually change our stage area. We can give it a title. So I'm going to call mine Intro to Flash. Put El Marsden on it. We got our dimension, we can put a description in here, but we've got our dimension. Now we're working in pixels. So it's how many pixels across and how many pixels down. And if you're working with animation, you get used to working with pixels rather than centimeters or inches. So we'll leave that in, the, in pixels and also we'll actually leave it to its default value at the moment. We can also change the background color at the moment set to white. In here, we can pick any color we would like that's shown there and our background will become those sort of colors. We're going to leave it as white at the moment. In here, we've got our frame rate at the moment set to 12 frames per second. I'm going to use a more conducive frame rate for animation, which is about 25 frames per second. This, in real time, will give you a flicker-free animation. So if we're moving something across the stage, at 25 frames per second seems to have no jittering at all. And our rollers are set to pixels at the moment. Now, you've got to remember, when it's set to 25 frames per second now, You've got to remember that from 1 through to 25 is 1 second a time. To 50, that's 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds. So you can see that 4 seconds a time is 100 frames. So if you're going to do a minute or a 2 minute animation, there are a lot of keyframes that are used to create that. So just keep that in mind when you're developing projects, because one of the first things you need to think of is how long is this animation going to go for. So this is our working environment and you've got to remember to save it, to go to file, you can go to save as and you can um, save it to where you would like it and that will save it as what's called an FLA file or flash file, otherwise you can export it as a finished product, as a movie and that will make your Swift file.